welcome back to my channel today we're doing another dun dun anime review and today we're doing the anime review on kagori or in english the compulsive game Alert anime which is why i decided to do this because if you think about it you think this anime is like oh it's gonna be so different also this anime is also on um netflix there we go. Basically, this anime is also on Netflix or any other um, anime websites. But the thing that I that caught my interest with the most was like, oh, the, the, the artwork looked nice. I got entranced by the, the artwork on the, the back, and the summary seemed normal enough, you know. But oh, how I was wrong about this anime! How I was very, 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 very wrong. You think it was like a normal school outside, but. That's only the first mask it wears. The second mask is where students from the high elite rich class bet all their monies to to the highest stake and if they lose it they become like the bottom of the street, like like like, like the lookers down, like, like they're nothing. And this one girl, the one we see with the glowing red eyes, has the gambling obsession and no matter how high the stakes are, she gets more and more uh hyped up by the whole gambling stakes and um when she gambles with other people it becomes more of a thrill for her almost and she almost goes borderline insane the way that game might bring too many cards to the table overall it has 12 episodes it also has a manga um series that, that follows along with it it also has a side story to it kagura picture drama it also has a season two for it as well so it is also rated r for mature for, for many good reasons for how a lot of violence and profanity considering this is like a gambling school that they attend here in Tokyo. Also it has it's it's a it's a lot of gambling games of course. It has mystery, it's psychological, it's drama, it's school and it's children. But that's not all. The one thing I found very intriguing about it is that they make the women seem well foolish in this game. They make them seem like they're just like a sex object or like treat them like servants or like cows or especially like the games and some of this an gambling anime it's just it's just horrific and how she goes so much of a a high per se like this is one of her faces that she makes guys when she gets a overall uh, thrill from the gambling anime which is kind of insane like look at this face it, like, she's literally insane like glowing red eyes okay that's normal but when she's getting a thrill off of it and then she gets more and more high after that each time the stake is raised higher in these gambling games i'm like she has lost her, her mind basically and and like the whole thought of it i was like what is this anime like what am i watching basically but this anime is literally insane i'm just more intrigued by the the graphics of voice actors and the gambling game that they play in this anime i know the can the concept is basically gambling and you're you're mostly caught with the entertainment of the extra, of the exhilarating moments that you see in each episode. Being that it's only twelve episodes, you get a lot from the first episode one twelve without going into too much detail. You know, uh, elite school with the wealth and the privilege, and then um, you know they're not really actually learning anything in the school. They're just teaching how to be better gamblers so they don't lose all their money to their opponent. And sometimes you know what I get too far. Some of these players don't play very fair by any means. And I'm like, also, like, there are some scenes that sometimes I feel like the writers didn't explicitly work very clear on when it came to this gambling game. But you know, it's a gambling and it makes it look incredibly dumb. For some characters, it makes it look incredibly dumb and stupid. And it takes away the chance to get excited at how the game actually plays out. And you know, overall, it just makes the woman seem less of a competent opponent. But when, the, when she's on screen, trust me. The game becomes very more enticing and more intriguing when she gets high off the run. And then the people who she plays against, they become scared. But also, when you become scared, I become scared if eyes going like that came at me and play another game like, oh, no, 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 no. And then look, she, her, her, mm, her, was laid in a nice way. Um, well, that's creepy. Having her act like a cat. Just to see your opponent, I'm like, someone like was like teasing her, like, oh, you have to act like a cat if I win this bet, and like, also, who has a wad of cash like that? No one! Not, not in normal society. The thing about it, this anime is completely and utterly insane. Mine. This anime is insane, that's why it got another season, because, well, you also have this interesting side character, who I won't go much in the details, but she's interesting one. She's the same high, and the same character, like she does too as well, so it's like, 
it's very interesting, but also, look at this artwork, guys, like, look at it, it's intense, and I'm just like, even some of the male characters are very intense, so this anime, it's very interesting, I will say, don't watch this if you are not fucked for, for like, the whole, of uh, the whole shock factor of her eyes going red, occasionally her getting thrill off a of gambling, and also the other gambling supporting cast that goes along with, with this crazy school. But overall, it was a good anime. I love the aesthetic, love the voice actress, love the concept. It was more plot driven than character driven. I feel like it is. But other than that, what did you expect from a family anime that just seems to excite you at every turn it takes? Plus, also having very eccentric female characters that leave you on the edge of your seat as they did mine. So, comment down below if you were thought about watching um, Togori or an English Compulsive Gambler. I will say I will get this a 7.8 out of 10, um, specifically, specifically being that I watched uh, both seasons of this anime, which weren't bad, but I'm like, maybe if they made the females not just, you know, either crazy or just objects in the game, that's what I mean, but other than that, it wasn't that bad. Other than that, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Some scenes left me awestruck, and sometimes some of them were just like, really bad service, but other than that, it wasn't that bad. Other than that, it was okay, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. But thanks for tuning in for this anime review of Kagure Compulsive Gamer. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you soon for another dun dun anime review. I'll see you next time. Till then, bye.